All right, so I'm back with all these damn CDs that I got sitting around here. So I made it to Tupac, right? And well, I mean, what can I say about Tupac? He's one of my favorites. He's in my top three. I won't say what my top three is right now. There's a video on my channel that I made like 10 years ago that has my favorite rappers of all time. And the list is more or less the same. So I'm going to let you go and fucking look for it and give me another view on that shit. And you can see who my favorite artist of all time are. Yeah. All right. So Tupac. Tupacalypse. Strictly. Me Against the World. All Eyes on Me. You know, albums. Machiavelli. Thug Life. Which I've actually argued that it is a Tupac album. And people say, no, it's a group. And I say, no, it's a Tupac album. They're like, no, it's a group. You know what? Whatever. In my eyes, it's a Tupac album. And it's right here with the Tupac collection. Greatest hits. And I pretty much put them uh, almost in the way that they, in the order they come out. If they were in the order that they come out, then All Eyes on Me would have to be split. And I didn't want to split it, so I put Thug Life here under Machiavelli. Greatest hits. Are You Still Down? Better Days. Fucking Till the End of Time. Tupac and Outlaws. This is a single for How Do You Want It? And uh, this is a DVD, Loyal to the Game, which is eh. the Resurrection movie, the Resurrection soundtrack. Running. Oh, oh, shit. I don't even know which one's missing here either. God damn. See, shit happened. Oh, I know what's missing right here. Is the part two or part one of this, which is in my, uh, it's in my PlayStation right now because I watched it recently. I have a tendency to get, like, drunk. And whenever I get drunk... Like, beyond recognition drunk, blacked out, fucked up drunk. I will grab this DVD in part one, take it to the living room, and play it on my big screen. And, man, I have a good time. No lie. I'll grab my blunts. I'll go outside and I'll smoke a cigar and fucking chill. And, you know, I don't ever get in trouble because, of course, my wife is asleep by that time. There's a DVD called... Uh, Oh, no, this is a CD that came with a DVD called Life of an Outlaw, which is all like tracks that were put out by uh, artists sort of in remembrance of Tupac. It wasn't actually any Tupac tracks on it. But anyway, this is the run-in, him and Notorious. This is the uh, uh, the DVD that I was talking about, Thug Angel, which is where this one came from. The Biggie and Tupac DVD. And in his own words, this one right here is special because it's like... Um, it's a, it's not, see, they say it's his last interview, but I don't think it is. It's an interview he did with Sway uh, a couple of months before he died. And he talks a lot of shit with, about Biggie and Nas and Mob Deep and mentions Dre. He talks about why him and Dre aren't cool and whatever, whatever. So that's a, that's a good, uh, good one to listen to. You can download that in his own words. I'm pretty sure it's on, um, on YouTube. You can just listen to it and it's good. Fucking Tupac was just unhinged. The dude just talked a lot of shit. Which, by the way, Tupac is playing right now in the background. Chuck. That's from this DVD. Yeah. Anyway, so, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Comrades, I got the vinyl right here. I actually uh, busted out recently. Other co uh, Comrades CD, Wake Up and Ball, which was on Who Bangin', which is Mac 10's label. Cypress Hill. I'm a big Cypress Hill fan. I got all their shit. Except for uh, Rise Up. And I think that's it. That's the only one I don't have. Um, oh, and... Um, till, oh, no. Till Death Was Parts right there. Yeah. I do have all their shit. Except for Rise Up. Which is like their wackest one. Released. Unreleased and revamped. Fucking the Stash album. Which is all like remixes. Just dope. Stone Raiders. Just dope. Till Death Was a Part. Which is eh. Elephants on Acid, which is dope. And then you got Soul Assassins. Chayo. This one I got at a Cycle Realm show, which I went to see. I went to see Immortal Technique, and I came out a fucking Cycle Realm fan. So figure that the fuck out. Yeah. Soul Assassins 2. Got one. Two. Oh, yeah. Cypress Hill. This is a DVD. There's like the live performance. I actually get drunk and listen to this one eventually. But, you know, until I do, whatever. Cycle Realm. I love Cycle Realm. Fucking, um, I wish that Big Duke never got shot and 
We would have gotten more of him. But, you know, fucking Sick Jackin is carrying that torch. And mighty fine job is he doing, doing with it. Sick Jackins, this is his album. You got the book one and two, War Stories, book one and two. Six Symphonies, just dope. This is right here. This is probably the best shit that Psycho Realm has ever done, in my opinion. I love this. This is um, Sick Jackin and DJ Muggs, Legend of the Mask and the Assassin. Must listen. This is great from beginning to end. Then uh, Terry Tapes. Terry Tapes 1, which I think it's... That's it. Yeah. That's Terry Tapes uh, Volume 1, which is great, too. This is this is one of the best mixtapes I have, this one. And then this is Part 2. Street Platoon. Fucking DJ Muggs. More Cycle Realm. Exhibit. Got all the exhibits up until... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. It's Man vs. Machine. Yeah. This one right here... Um. Actually got this one out of a box at Target the day it came out. Yeah, no lie. I bought a copy from my homeboy. Took it to him. I was like, hey, man. Because me and him were big Exhibit fans. It was awesome. And, uh, yeah, Exhibit, Exhibit, bonus disc, bonus disc, Full Circle. I guess Full Circle is the last one I got, which is all right. It's a decent album. Tash, fucking underrated. The Far Eye, Focus Daily. That's one you got to have. Strong Arm Stadium, which I spoke on before. And Mitchie Slick, who's in Strong Arm Steady. Cam, Camnesia, this is a great album. Don't sleep on that one. Supernatural, who I also met. I actually have his, uh, this CD, the cover, the booklet. I have it autographed. It's in a bag somewhere. Evidence, the weatherman, which is dope. Fucking uh, uh, DJ Babu from Dilated Peoples. Evidence, also from Dilated Peoples. And Dilated Peoples, all together. Oh, yeah. The game, I got a lot of the game's early shit. So, if the first time you ever heard the game was a documentary, you fucked up. Because he actually was out before that. And he was on Get Low Records. And he put out this, here, uh, I don't know, disc one, disc two. But the disc two is a DVD. And it's he's not even on it. Like, it's all just videos and him, like, like behind the scenes, fucking recording the music at the booth and shit like that. Ain't all that. Uh, G-A-M-E, and this is the Stop Snitching, Stop Lying mixtape, which is all the G-Unit shit talk, which is fine. I liked it. I, I'm I'm all about the beef. Crip Hop. I fucking love Crip Hop. J.O. Felonies, uh, I think that's his best album. Some people might argue that his first one or uh, all the Def Jam shit he did was better, but I think this one right here was the one that was good. This one's got a lot of fucking bangers, like... Uh, uh, a sea walk and skip fucking please believe it fucking shit hotter than fish grease dope shit feel the agony aromatic the album dope actually i have that one on vinyl too uh some bang some rascast i don't have a lot of rascast now that i realize i do on vinyl i just don't on cd for some fucking reason funk dubious gotta have this right here this is um Oh, it's Mr. Capone. Never mind. I thought it was something else. Never mind. Forget it. Mr. Capone? Eh. I think I found that CD somewhere. And I just kept it. You got Outlaws. This one probably should be with Tupac. There's Outlaws. Fatal. Uh, and these are all like compilations, really. Uh, the Hit List, which has... Let's see. Let's see what's on it. And these are all clean, too. So I'm like... It's got got to get mine. Tupac and MC Breed. Clean. Tonight. Clean. I Wish from Skilo. Fucking Everyday People. And, you know, it's got some joints. It's got some joints in the future in your front. Gangsta Party. This one was a banger. This was all, like, Priority's Greatest Hits, basically. Like, uh, just the label just grabbed all their shit. They're like, all right, let's put out a whole bunch of fucking great tracks. And, and that's what that is. Rhyme and Reason, soundtrack, the movie. Get the Wash, soundtrack, the movie. Got Friday. Next Friday. I don't have the movies here because I don't have them on DVD. I just, they're on TV like fucking frequently. I'm like, why do I need to buy them? I had it. I had them on uh, on VHS, bulletproof. Mexicans, which uh, the group from Long Beach. They're a couple of Mexican dudes. I don't know if you could tell by the name, but there's a dude named Sinful who raps in Spanish. He's got a song right here called La Plaga, which is fucking awesome. 
And uh, let's see, lighter shade of brown, fucking big nostalgia for me from my from my childhood. These are greatest hits, which is great. Brown and Proud, which is our best album, in my opinion. And uh, Control Machete, which is a group from Mexico. They're a rap group. And I got two albums and the greatest hits. And let's see what else. What else? Oh, these are all like shit that this is all shit that I got at shows. So all these are all just artists that were like, you know, trying to make a name for themselves. And they were either giving out CDs or selling them. But I honestly, I never paid for any of these. I just got them for free. I actually listened to this one recently and it wasn't terrible. And look at that. Look at that date. 619 from 2004. How long ago was that? Holy shit. And Black Street. This is like a little bit of the R&B. And this, this Dilated Peoples, um, this is just like a mix of their first two albums, I think. And beastie boys which i don't know how the fuck it wound up there but that's the last page see that shit's filled to the fucking brim but yeah so yeah that's my uh west coast cd collection right here i got um i got south and east coast and then on this other case right here which is behind my bone thugs stuff right there oh shit i just dropped my vape and i fucking fucked it up oh well oh yeah that case right there, it's also got some some bomb on it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here, and then um, I don't know. I'll get on it tomorrow. I'll put out some more. I'll I'll go through the rest of them throughout the weekend. I got a long four day weekend. Uh, my job was nice to me and let me uh, have some fucking time off since I'm leaving soon. So I'll have time to make you guys more videos. How's that sound? All right, well, stay out of those fucking riots, please. Stay out of the protest. You're going to catch that COVID. So, I mean, I'm all for protesting. If you do, if you do I'll go out and do some bullshit, though, please make a video and show it to me. Please. Like, put it on Facebook or put it somewhere and tag me. I need to see it. I want to see people doing dumb shit. I love that. I have a good time. All right, peace, y'all.